Hello everybody and welcome to my channel update for December 2016 and bah humbug to you as well if you don't mind me saying. You'll be seeing this on Boxing Day, I don't know if Americans celebrate Boxing Day or, or call the day after Christmas Boxing Day. We do that in Britain, I don't even know if it's a European thing. I, I don't actually know why we call it Boxing Day, I remember looking it up once. But either way, you'll be seeing this on Boxing Day. There will not be a stream tonight because it's Monday and that's my deal usually. But anyway, this is just going to be a really quick update for December because not much has been going on really. We'll also do some shoutouts for Patreon support from last month. And I got one more thing to my PO box. It isn't really worth doing a separate fan mail video, so I thought we would open up this here. Because why not? It is from Dream Loop Games, I think that says, who is a person from Finland. I apologise for not getting around to this more quickly, but I was expecting something else that hasn't arrived yet because the UK Postal Service is garbage. So we'll open this, we'll do some shoutouts, talk about the channel real quick, and also the horrible, horrible problems that YouTube has been having in December. The reason I also wanted to open this is I'm fairly sure it's a Christmas card, so I thought get it done during, pardon me, during Christmas. So, without further ado. Yeah, uh, yes, it is indeed a Christmas card. Hang on a second. Is this actually a company? I thought it was a person, but I think it might actually be a company. That's very strange if so. Get your space gear on and head over to... It is a game. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting to be sent advertising to my, my PO box, but... Thank you for the card. There, there's the card. And inside they have wrote, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Flick. Hope your Christmas is going to be filled with fun and games. Holiday cheers from Johnny and the rest of the team, Dreamloop Games from Finland. At least there's sentiment there. I can't show you the card because it's got a code on it, which I assume is a Steam code. So I, I, I guess I can kind of, hang on, I can kind of cover it, but I don't want to accidentally rub it off because it seems like it's on on pen. There you go. There, kind of. Oh, no, I can't get it straight and also not cover or not show the code. Hop in the Galaxy Gear Mech and partake in four-player local co-op. Oh, it's always local co-op, though. But you have me intrigued with the word mech. I apologise again, I didn't know that you were giving me a, a code for a game. But thank you for the card anyway. That's the second Christmas card I got this year. Thank you. I will look into this when I finish streaming. I, when I saw Dreamloop Games, I didn't immediately think, oh, uh, Indie Dev has sent me something. My thought was, oh, a YouTuber has sent me something. So I apologise for not getting around to it sooner, I didn't realise. If you do want to send me something to my PO box, I mention it on Twitter every so often. You can get it on the About tab of my YouTube thingy. And if I get enough built up over, say, a month, I will do a video on it. If not, I could probably just do it in these channel updates if there's like one or two small layers. That's my plan, there is a separate playlist if I do ever get enough to do a, a whole unboxing video on it. Thank you though. Anyway, while I put up the two bits of fan art we got, also apologies for turning pale because I'm moving a TXT over to my screen, here are the shoutouts for people who supported me on Patreon last month, so thank you to the following people and there's a lot of names. Nomar Omar, Isvedo Rivera, Jarek, Garlock Thornbolt, Nathan, Nathan Fraser, Taya Blake, Karen Harris, Ashley Pfeiffer, Taylor Ducray, Solace Corvus, who also gifted me a uh, game on Steam, thank you. Screaming Violet, Michael Turner, JD Chamberlain, Mark Bryson, Jared Tabor, Brian Sue, Lexi, Just Gaming, Bradley Parry, Richard Bearwell, Aaron Neko Neko Senpai Villasenor, Matsumuni, BGR Lucario, Hunger Pain, Julie Cheng, Timothy Sabin, or Sabin, Peter Ferguson, Thaxton, Derek Williams, Drizzen, Charlie Abrams, Megan Perry, Reaper, Hang on a minute. That must be someone else because Reaper is on Patreon, but he, he doesn't use the name Reaper. Hmm. Andre Highgate, Rachel Weber, unless I shortened it to that because I was lazy. I'm not sure. Brian O'Connor, Louista, Brandon Finney, Kubio, Dustin Dodge, Brad Beck, Terrell Smith, James Woody Packard III, Dwayne Kellogg, Colton Pierce, Reese Leon, D, Paul Meyer, that one guy with the face, Yuki, Jack, and the newbie. My sincere thanks. Especially at this time of the year when I know you've got to buy presents and whatnot. For going out of your way to support me a little bit extra. And also thank you to my Twitch subs as well who are a tremendous support. Especially given how shitty YouTube is right now. How shitty is YouTube right now? Well, from December 1st, or you know like November 30th, December 1st. Everything on YouTube has dropped by 50%. Everything. 
subs, comments, views, everything. And the scariest part is, the most depressing part is YouTube is not acknowledging there's a problem. They went on record because PewDiePie was kicking up a fuss about it when I read an interview with them on the BBC website. saying They, they went on record saying, nope, we haven't done anything to our al algorithms, we haven't done anything to SEO, we have changed nothing. I believe them because they're losing money as well. So they're not deliberately trying to kill channels. That, that's stupid for them. But there is something very clearly wrong. They went on record as saying there is no bug that's making people unsubscribe from channels they don't want to unsubscribe from. That's not true. It happened to me. I got unsubbed from a channel I watch daily. People have said to me, hey, I, I didn't get this video in my video feed. Or, hey, it unsubbed me. There's clearly something very, very wrong. There has to be a reason why YouTube isn't going on record with this. And I sincerely hope they sort it soon because December is supposed to be your best earnings month. And I'm not saying that from a greed point of view, I'm saying that because January and February are your worst earning months by far because everyone blows their load advertising wise in November, December. December is actually going to be the worst month of this year. And that's saying something given that my channel went big in like July. So that's scary. It's scary because I was planning on buying a house around about April next year. Everything staying the same as it is now. That's going to be put off by a few months at least, at least, which is depressing because I have my own property and it may not be there in six, seven, eight months time. So I'm pissed off a little bit with YouTube right now. It's not your fault. If you're watching this, then you're one of the few who are actually seeing my videos in your feed and I thank you for it. In general though, YouTube is our stuff right now and it's a struggle. So that's also probably why I'm putting a bit more effort into the Twitch side. Twitch still has to grow. I've only had partnership for like five months now or six by the time you hear this maybe. Yeah, well, a couple of days after you hear this. It's growing, it's growing slowly. Views can, or viewer averages kind of went down towards the tail end of the year after the Overwatch hype wore off. It'll take a while to get back up to like a standard of say three, four, five hundred people per stream. I want to aim for that. And next year going ahead, I may end up kind of testing a daytime stream. Because right now I, I do six out of seven evenings but it doesn't match up well to certain American time zones, so I thought maybe try and mix in a day stream, see how it goes. I don't know, that's that's for testing in the new year. I don't know if it'll work out, it's just a, a plan I have. In terms of series, Final Fantasy XV finished, finished the story mode, so that is on there. Pokemon Sun is continuing, even though I'm not enjoying it that much, I must admit part of that is the horrible community for it, which I didn't realise was a thing. But the game itself I'm also not enjoying as much as X and Y. We're also going to have a anti birth series. Right now it's live recorded episodes, but come the new year, once I have more time and family isn't around, I will record in this in, during the day, same way I do with Gungeon, which is continuing. Pardon me. The supply drop update is available for Gungeon only in beta form, and it's around about 80% of the content it's adding. They went on record as saying the supply update will be if properly released out of the beta in January sometime. I'm just going to wait for the January. I want it all there. I want it fixed and working before I start doing a series. But I've, I've got it set up. I am ready for it. I'm looking forward to it I'm tremendously. And that does mean there's going to be two roguelikes on the channel, which I think is not a bad thing because a lot of people have actually come over from Overwatch. And the thing of the things I've been doing besides Overwatch, roguelikes are the ones that are keeping people interested. More so than, say, Planet Coaster or, or Pokemon. Or, or Final Fantasy, those were very niche things, I guess. So those are continuing. We just tried Friday the 13th for the first time last night. It's very buggy, but it's very fun as well. So you might be seeing more VODs of that. And it's probably released in April, I think. Uh, I don't know if I had anything else to cover besides that, really, I, the, in the new year. Oh, I also, very briefly, did a top five best and worst games of 2016. It's available on the channel, it went up a few days ago. I, I did it very abridged because I didn't feel the need to justify myself. Either you agree with me or don't, I don't care really. It doesn't mean anything. Just the games that I thought were the best things I played this year and the worst. Didn't include stuff I didn't play, obviously. But yeah, going into the new year, in terms of stuff that's recorded off of streams, Gungeon episodes, Binding of Isaac anti-birth episodes, and I'm not sure what else. I'm gonna to need to pick some more games come the new year. Stream side stuff will be the usual, Overwatch, occasional like golf, Planet Coaster, Jackbox, you know, miscellaneous stuff. I'm not sure what my next big game is. 
I tried it the the near Atomo Mata, I think it's called demo on PS4. I think it's on PC as well. Liked it. The combat is super super fluid, and I love the the dodge mechanic it has. The only downside of the demo is the enemies look garbage, like really basic enemies. But it's got my interest, so that's one to watch out for next year. Long term next year, the next Final Fantasy XIV expansion is out in June and I plan to go back to it. That may indeed be a terrible decision because I am easily addicted to MMOs, but I do plan to go back once, I can't remember what the expansion is called, CR was just showing me the preview video for the first new class that's been revealed for it. Red Mage, and they made it look real good. I liked Red Mage back in Final Fantasy XI. Anyway, I think that's about covered it. You'll be seeing this on the day after Christmas. I hope you had a good Christmas. If you didn't, who cares? It's just a single day. Forget it and move on. I, I sent a message to my Twitch subs today saying, don't make or don't let Christmas make you your bitch, his bitch. I messed that up entirely. I, I was trying to be a sentimental message wrapped around a silly sentence and I ruined it twice. But what I'm saying is, if you get depressed around this time of year, either because of a good excuse slash reason or just just because maybe you're sick of having family around, maybe you have no one around. It's just a day. Treat it as such. Bring in the new year. And, I don't know, set goals to do something different. Christmas is just a day, and it's gone by the time you hear this. Forget it, move on, be happy. I sincerely hope you have a good new year, whether you continue watching my content or not. It's been a tough year, but 2017 will hopefully be better. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the support, I sincerely appreciate it. I shall see you in 2017 for the January channel update. Ta-ta for now.